Starting off with the ball python morph. You sure are purdy. How is it possible for noodles to be this colorful? Oh, hey, it's a Wookiee. You know, just like from that, uh, the Star Wars thing. Fire, red stripe, het clown. Sheesh. Does that label say Krypton? A pastel yellow belly desert ghost. It's noodle central in here. It's like I'm at a ramen shop. Some brightly colored ramen. Guess what? This ramen has scales, bro. That's right. Get your scaly expensive ramen here. Actually, please don't do that. Please don't eat the animals. Even if they resemble a type of noodle ramen. No, but seriously, you guys, ball python morphs are amazing. They just are. Of all the reptile shows that I cover on this channel, this animal's the most common. Whoa. What an incredibly fun show this has been. We've got a Mojave. Followed up by a desert ghost pie. A cypress chocolate chip. How did these snakes become so vibrant? Okay, I'm about to go all Karen on them. Yes, excuse me, sir. Can I speak to the manager of snake? Yeah, what dye did you use here? Uh, sir, these are not green eggs and ham. There's a little shout out to the vendor there. And we're back to more. Nope ropes. Oh, snap. We've got some rat snakes here. Holy crud. These rat snakes are the glowing kind. Pueblin milk snake. Check it out. It's an MBK. Yeah, I got a lot of pretty sweet morphs here. And now we come to the pewter clown. Check it out. Got a cinnamon spot nose inchy clown. A fire hidden Gene Woma. A pastel spot nose clown. And then we also have a cinny inchy spot nose clown. And a blitz het paint. Yeah, so many more, so many incredible patterns. It's really unbelievable to be able to see these in person. Albinism all over the place here. Even a bit of vanilla, as it were. And we come to the second table with more clowns. Some more pides. Got a lot more orange type colors. Man, going to these shows is so fun. You get to see so many animals. So much biodiversity. I highly recommend that you go to one if you like animals, you like reptiles, you like invertebrates, you like cold-blooded creatures, and perhaps even smaller mammalian creatures as well. And here I thought we were done with the Star Wars thing, and we have yet more Wookiees. I refuse to make that sound live on camera as we come upon the acid morphs here it looks like we have a couple of giant toads here we have a solomon island ground boa oh me oh my look at all the cute little leopard gecko morphs they're also orange and yellow and white and black spotted got a couple of eclipse morphs in there in the mix a raptor morph. Just look at all those spots. Their scientific name is the Eubliferus macularius. They are native to Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Nepal, and some parts of Iran. Apparently they don't like areas where the primary substrate happens to be sand. And of course in the wild they undergo the brumation process, which is essentially some kind of reptile hibernation. And in the wild they have been observed to be nocturnal. Oh look, there's an orange one. No boy do these little fellas love to eat invertebrates. And guess what guys, guess why their tails are so thick? Well, it just so happens to be that that's where they store a lot of fat reserves. Oh snap, this is exciting. We've come upon the cutest type of gecko there is. Yes, yes, it is the eyelashed gecko, AKA the crested gecko. These adorable little ragamuffins are native to Southern New Caledonia, which happens to be France. And we're back to the leopard geckos, the fat tail geckos. Look how big they are. They're so pre- So much orange. You know, I think I have an affinity for things that are orange. Did you guys know that the leopard geckos are only second to the bearded dragon in terms of popularity of lizards? And interestingly enough, they could have been the first domesticated lizard species in history. Oh my goodness, look at that savannah monitor sleeping. $250. Yo, is that a Brooks king snake? Look at that beautiful little creature. Oh, look, we've got some more snakes here. Lot of different types. Oh my. That's definitely a mangrove right there. Look at those colors. This one looks like a Borneo rat snake. Borneo cave dwelling rat snake, no less. You guys like to feed on a whole bunch of cave dwelling rats in the wild. You hear what I'm saying? And we're back to more ball pythons. Though I do think there are some boas and some short tail pythons over here. Wow, look at those little bumblebee patterns. Chi leopard blade, pastel OD. Wow, look at these, unbelievable. $800 though, man, I can't even afford milk. 
And they want me to give them $800 for one of these beautiful noodle nope rope snakey poos. I got some more pods up here, a lot of different colorations. Seriously though, man, like there's just like 80% of the show is ball pythons. Not that I'm complaining. I would never do that. I would never complain live on stream. Got that banana Mojave pied. Wow. Oh, there we go. Mexican black king snake, I believe. A highway ball python. $400. Another Brooks King Snake. I really need to get a Brooks King Snake. Those things are really dope. We have our staple, the BCI Boa Morphs, and yet we have more ball pythons over here. Pretty impressive morph. Some bananas. A couple of uh, other interesting. Oh, yep, got some blood pythons down here. Check that one out. T positive albino, just $300. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got a pewter blackhead and a pastavi blackhead and yet another milk snake some more boas some more boas got a couple of little bitty corn snakes there got some children's pythons love those those are pretty fancy some leucistic rat snakes too come upon the reticulated python and there's a fifteen hundred dollar reticulated python and a motley ghost boa wow that's a lot, man. That's a lot. I couldn't afford that. Plus, they get enormous, right? Looks like we got some bull snakes. Got some more boas over here. And you guys can slow down the video as you're going through here. I was just trying to show you as many animals as I possibly could. Yeah, by the way, most of the reptile conventions that I myself have attended have all been the, uh, the Repticon ones in the southeast United States. Oh my gosh, they're lily white crested geckos. Oh, bad grip. Back on topic. No, but seriously, I need to go to some other types of reptile conventions. I need to, uh, you know, branch out from the Repticons and see what else is out there in the wild, wild world of reptile shows. And the biggest one, apparently, in all the land is this one called Tinley, which is this one that's apparently in this place called Tinley Park, somewhere near Chicago or Illinois or somewhere. I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't do the geography thing. But yeah, everybody's like, Tarantula Jeezy, we need you to come to our reptile show in Tinley Park. It's like, nah, girl. My show's on. No, but I do straight up need to go to that one. I also need to go to some of these show me reptile shows as well. Anyways, back to the animals. That label says black magic. I got a black magic python. There's a blackhead black pastel banana OG. That one's one of my favorites, actually. Then you got this bamboo clown. Sheesh. Wow, this video really turned into a, a massive ball python fest, didn't it? But hey, nobody here is complaining. We love ball pythons, bro. We love the orange dreams. We love the bananas. We love the clowns, the pastel sugars. We love them all, dude. We like them. They're fantastic. Oh, check that one out. There's an ivory Mojave inchy pied, an inchy clown, yet another ivory. I mean, it's just crazy. Bro. Oh man, another yellow belly, some black heads, the albino, and the albinos in gene. There's a mama breeder. Got some more down here, ivories, fantastic colors. Some paints. Look at all these leopards. A lot of different ones here. Banana yellow belly. Man, the paints get me every time, bro. Every time, that one was $1,800, oh me, oh me. Got another pewter, a pastel clown here, black head, black magic, another black magic python. Banana lesser clown, inchy pied. I just, man, it just, it takes my breath away. All right, we're getting into obnoxious territory. No, but seriously, look at all these patterns. Oh, look at this little guy right here. A super banana. There's another Mojave. And the true ghost, man, the true ghost, it, it, it reminds me of many, many science fiction characters from all of the books and all of the films that I have consumed. Yes, my favorite, the Baja Blue Rock Lizard. Look at that little guy looking all kinds of cringe. Hey, I'm glad we were able to show some things other than ball pythons, okay? I mean, look at the, oh man, is that a Gigi skink? I think that's a Gigi skink. Oh, snap, dude, look, oh, it's a little, a little blue tongue skink back there. Mmm, yes. Got some northerns here as well. Red Aki monitor for $500. This is actually one of my local vendors out of Charlotte. The, uh, the store that's called Cold Blooded and Bizarre. They're pretty cool. Got a lot of cool animals. They take care of them as well. Looks like we got a false chameleon. We're complaining? No, we would never do that. Ah, oh, look, an Ultra Mel. $750 though? Is that expensive, guys, or is that cheap? I don't actually know. I really need to follow the market a little bit more. You can check prices on Morph Market. Morph Market is just 
Pop it. By the way, everybody, just as a disclaimer, these are temporary show enclosures. This is not the animal's permanent enclosure. That's probably the most common thing that I get in the comments and during these streams, so I just want you to know that. If you made it this far, I just want to congratulate you first of all and thank you. I plan on doing a lot more consistent long-form content in addition to all of my vertical live streaming and shorts content daily. If you enjoyed this scuffed super cringe video then just click the like and subscribe button it would mean the world to me thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video